We're going to be here talking about, oh, Harper's so excited. We are going to be here talking about level three vault today. Um, kind of the structure of how I work my level three vault practices is we always start with some running drills. Will you girls demonstrate our running drills for them? So we're just going to get them to start down at the beginning of the runway and they're going to do high knees first. And the goal of the high knees is just to get them to push through their toes super fast. Push through your toes, point, 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 point. Super fast, super fast. I like your arms, and we're gonna try and get their arms kind of at like a 90 degree angle, just pumping back and forth. And next is kick your bottom. Faster, 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 get off your feet fast, off your feet fast. And that's always the goal with those, it's not like how far they can get fast, it's how many times they can get off their feet. Then long skips, and this is pushing through that back leg for the run. And then high skips. And this is keeping the chest up on a takeoff. Good job. Deer runs. Fast deer runs. Pull the knee up. Pull the knee up. They're pulling the front knee up really high and they're pushing through the back leg. Let's try those deer runs one more time. I want you to pick the front knee up super high. Pick the front knee up super high and push the back leg back behind you. Good. Now just a run through. So just as fast as they can run. Pump your arms correctly. And fast, 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 fast. I like Harper's run. Would you look at that? That is awesome. Very good, girls. Okay, girls, get me a wall and let's put it in front of the springboard. So after they do their runs, that's pretty much it for that. There's a wall over here. I just have to move Coach Amber's phone. Uh, then I have them put a wall, well, you can put a mat, in front of their springboard. Come on, girls. And they're going to work on their board positioning because uh, the most important things about vault and lower level gymnastics is always if you can run super slow, right? Slow? Yep. No? What are we trying to do for vault? You didn't tell us the joke. Oh, I did. oh, okay, you didn't hear my joke. I said the most important thing about level three vault is running super slow. Yeah. What? <laughs> you girls are crazy. You're supposed to run super I what? Run fast. fast. Okay. And you're supposed to hit the board with your chest super far down or back? Back, yeah, yeah. So, another thing we do for warm up is we step with our silly foot in front, arms go back, circle around, and freeze on the springboard. All right, let's see if Harper can do it. Step with your silly foot, arms go back, and freeze. Very good. Now, Harper, try to hit in the middle of the springboard. Go ahead, Micah. Whoa, that was chest down, wasn't it? You saw she fell into the mat. Try again. Oh, that's what happens when we put our chest down. Can you girls show me with chest up? Show me the correct way. Go ahead, step. Much better. Very good. Just one step. Chest up. Good. Now let's add a rebound. What is a rebound? Um, it's like if you go here. Yes, it's like that. I want them to do a rebound and then land straight back on the springboard. I don't want their rebound to move forwards at all because I want them to take this kind of momentum, this forwards momentum, and turn it into what momentum? Up, yeah, like stretch jump momentum. Perfect, go ahead. Step, up. Excellent, saw the direction of that jump. That was good. Good, love the direction of that jump. I just need to hear the board more. I need to hear it. Good, but we are doing a stretch jump. Try that again. I want this stretch jump to go up. Up, excellent. Go ahead, Harper. Where are you, what are you, what is she doing? Get on this mat right here. Come here, Harpy. Uh, I know you want to run because you're a speedy speedster. Oh, what happened? Where was your chest? Let's focus. <laughs> Harper, stand in the middle of the mat. Come on. You can do it. Stand in the middle of the mat. It's just one step. Listen to me. Listen to me, honey. It's one step. Arms go back. Circle. Rebound. Rebound. Excellent. That's really good. So, if they have a really good run and a really good board punch, the next part of the vault is, is getting over the mat, is the angle that you come in at, right? What angle do you girls come in at? Do you come in and touch the mat in a handstand? Or do you come in at an angled handstand? You come at an angle, that's right. So I need you girls to help me demonstrate that angled handstand. So let's come up here. You're just gonna kick up to a handstand for me and they're gonna try to push to maximum extension, nice and tight. 
and go into this angle. So this is the angle they should be hitting the mat at. I would prefer, yes, her armpits to be a little more open and eyes on her fingertips. And hold right there. Tight, tight, tight. And come down. Micah, can I see yours? So where are you gonna come into the mat at? Kick up to handstand first. Okay, push maximum extension and relax. Yes, this is the angle, point your toes. Keep them nice and tight. Push through your shoulders. That's beautiful, very good. So sometimes what I do is I take that angled handstand and I rock them back and forth and then have them pop up and fall on their back. Because where they're gonna be judging from is that angle. Come here, come here. So they are looking for the kids to get to the point where they're touching the mat before they're at vertical. So they should not be in a handstand or past a handstand by the time that their hands contact the mat. So go ahead, kick up to just a regular handstand for me. So I'm gonna show them this is the angle I want them to come in at. And then we're gonna go one, squeeze tight, two, and we're gonna do a flat back. Flat back. Very good. And the flat back is so, so, so important because it's the same shape that they come off of the mat at for a level three vault. One, stay tight, open your armpits. Two, where are you supposed to be looking? Three, flat back. Ooh, yeah, that was not very flat. Let's try that one more time. Point, push, maximum extension. Open your armpits. One, two, three. Nice and tight, good. Can you stay tight on this one? Okay. And open, stay tight. One, open your armpits, stay tight. Look at your fingertips, two, three, tight. That was so much, so much, so much better. Very good. Okay, girls, come on over here. Here's a few more drills. This is another drill that I usually have them do on the side and it is for punching the springboard with our chest up. So we're gonna start over here and we pretend that we got kidnapped by pirates. And this is our plank that we're on. And then they step, walk off the plank, but guess what, they're gymnasts and so they're able to pop back up because they have their chest up on the springboard, arms down, and it launches them back up. And that is making sure that the chest is up on the springboard. Let's go ahead and try that, Miss Harper. That's beautiful. So again, we're looking for arms down on the springboard and chest up on the springboard. Arms down, chest up. Good, walk the plank, Harper. Walk the plank. Whoop, tight, tight, tight. Good. All right, girls, let's come on over here. This is gonna help with the second half of the vault. So the second half of the level three vault, the biggest issue, okay, back up, beep, beep, beep. The biggest issue is that kids are gonna try to arch off the mat. Right, girls? We're still struggling with that. So I like to put a mat on the trampoline and yeah, Mike already knows what's happening. We do a handstand and they flat back and they're trying not to be a floppy fish. So as few flops as possible. Go ahead, handstand. Flat, very good. So the reason that we do that is because once they do the front handspring, this is the same for the level four and five volts, once their hands contact and they come off, there's no shape change there. They contact in a handstand shape, it's an angled handstand shape. Then they come off in a vertical handstand and they hold that handstand shape the entire time until they land. Girls, do one more for me. Go ahead, Micah. Tight, squeeze, point. Good, and one of the things that I do to check for body tension, this will help if you're constantly doing this to them and then putting your hand underneath their ribs and having them smush your hand down and then checking to make sure there's no space, you can bring the camera over here, no space next to her ears. This is maximum extension. See how I, I can't see any space next to her ears? That's exactly what I want. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? That's exactly what I want. Micah's a little ribby, so if she laughs though, she kind of pulls those ribs in <laughs> like that. That's how I want her to be. All right, Harper, you try that again. Can't stand. Flat, tight, tight, tight. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna first, I always check that. And then I check to make sure her ribs are down. It's like she's giggling. <laughs> oh, she's really ticklish. Arms up and do maximum extension for me. See how there's no space around there? 
when they vault, if they're not in maximum extension, if they're not tighter than the surface that they're hitting, they will turn into a noodle in a clown suit. That's what we were, that's what we were on bars today. Noodles in clown suits. Okay, but you didn't have no clown suits with it. All right, and if you're super strong and you want to do this with your kids, come here. We are gonna go over the mat, I promise. If your kids have worked on body tension and they're like super, super, super tight all the time, you can try this. These are my noodles, so we'll see how this goes, noodles. Kick up handstand. You're gonna just grab their thighs. I always like stick my finger in between their knees so that I can hold um, both legs. And then I grab underneath their neck and we stay tight, stay tight, and then we land. So see how she held that handstand shape? the entire time. There's no handstand front limber at the end of the level three vault or at the end of any vaulting front handspring. Okay, stay tight. Again, I take my finger, I put it in between her knees and then I grab both legs, grab underneath her neck, stay tight, stay tight, and then safety landing. Oh, are you gonna land a vault like straight legs? That's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. Okay, push through your shoulders, maximum extension, that's better. Hold, land. Oh. Landing! Come on, Harper. Tight, push maximum extension. Where's your head? Where's your head? Stay tight, stay tight. Land. Just like that. That's the perfect landing position that we look for in the level three vault. All right, girls, you ready to move that mat? You're doing the real thing. Oh, <laughs> she loves that drill. Okay, I'll just tell you guys about this one. Um, just to get them to punch the board harder. You girls wanna do it? Yeah. You do? Yeah. All right, take the pit pillow, put it over here. This is one of their favorite drills. What? No. Um, let me take off this top mat. So, one of their favorite drills for board punching just to get them like super aggressive while they're vaulting, I have them jump over the entire resi mat. Turn that pit pillow sideways. Just make sure you set it up correctly so that your kids stay safe. Because if they can't run and they can't hit the board correctly, then any effort that you put into the rest of the vault is not gonna do anything. The approach has to be super good. Girls, move that medicine ball in the marker. Thank you, okay. I want to make sure the springboard's in the right spot. So they have to just contact the board like full, full force ahead in order to make it over. You have to land on your feet, do you understand? Okay, go ahead, show me what you got. Run hard, run hard, run hard, punch the board. Woo, looking good Harper, you're looking fast. You gonna vault like that? Go, Micah, go, fast. No. Oh, very close. Try it again. Come on, Harper. All the way over the resi mat. You got to book it down the runway. Book it, punch it. Good job. Come on, Micah. Don't be dainty with it. Punch. Nice. All right, girls. That is awesome. Let's move on to the front handspring. If you're going to spot the front handspring. There's really two ways to do this, and it depends on your kids. Do they have body tension? If they do, you can spot them from the front because you're going to trust that they're just gonna stay tight once they hit the mat and stay in that handstand shape and go to their landing. If your kids, no, you cannot go. If your kids are not quite great at body tension, okay. then you're gonna spot them from back here. Almost exactly the same as when they did this drill earlier where I did this. So as they're vaulting, you're kind of gonna like come in and be like, whoa, landing, right? Um, so I'll show you both of those. This mat is pretty low for them. Whoa, tight, no, come down, no. This mat's pretty low for them, but I'm gonna have them do one vault like this. Uh, and then I might put the mat on depending. What you look at when you're determining like how high your mat should be is their angle of entry. So whenever your kids are at this angle, 
that's when their hands should hit the mat. So if you go, if you take a video of their vault and you watch them in slow motion and they're this high above the mat while they're at this angle, then you're gonna know that you're gonna need another mat on top. Same goes for the vault table with level fours. If you look and you find that they're at this beautiful entry angle, but they're way higher than the mat, then put another one up. Now, if, if you don't put that other mat up here, sorry, my kids are crazy. If you don't put another mat up here, their feet are gonna keep driving because of all the power that they have, and they're going to contact the mat past vertical, which is exactly what you do not want. So my kids might contact the mat past vertical because this is a little low for them, but we're just gonna go ahead and try it anyways, because if you were gonna spot this, go ahead. If you're gonna spot it from the front, trusting that they have enough body tension, these ones are questionable, honestly. Go ahead. Very good, okay, that's really not bad. What I did to spot her, come here Micah so I could show that, is the same as a handstand flatback spot. So you take your hand and you put it on their low chest, because you don't want to like grab super high up on their chest, but like on their ribs, so that you can carry them there. And they're going to hit the springboard here, so they're going to swing their arms. As soon as their arms swing, you come in here, and then you're going to help them, assist them in their heel drive by taking your non-dominant hand and putting it on their thighs. So you're going to help their chest rise, right? So you want their chest to rise first, boom, that's how you do that. And then you assist with the heel drive, boom, that's it, right? I'm going to show you with Harper as well. Harper, will you stay tight for this vault? Let's see it. Love that attitude. Go, girl, go, girl, go. See how I got cut in as soon as she finishes that arm swing? It doesn't have to be a full circle, but the swing forwards get in onto the bottom part of their chest and then on their thighs. Go ahead, Micah, do that again. Stay so, so, so tight. Whee, good job. And go ahead, Harper. It's hard for me to see what angle they're coming in at because I'm like right here. Okay, so if you want to spot this from the back, girls, go do another one. Breathe on your way down there. These girls are like so fast right now though. I probably wouldn't spot them from the back because they've been doing this for a little while. A brand new kid, I would spot it from the back, but I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get in there quick enough for them. Go ahead, I might just grab their hips. And so all I'm doing on that is just making sure she's not launching herself onto her face. Okay, Harper. So I'm just getting in there and grabbing her torso and just making sure she doesn't land on her face. <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, so when she's in the handstand, grab their torso and, and help them. She came in like super, super early on the mat there. But girls, oh actually let me grab a tiny little kid. Hey Cora, can I borrow you real quick? No thank you. I need a really, really tiny kid. All right, you girls. You girls, go sit right there. Cora, come to me. I'm smaller. Hop up here. So I just want to show you kind of what you're looking for here. They're going to kick up. Well, I'm just going to have her kick up. So here's her angled handstand. Cora super has great body tension. So this is the angled handstand. This is where they're going to contact the mats. They're going to continue to heel drive. And then when they get to the vertical handstand, that's when they're going to come off of the mat. And this handstand shape, she's just going to continue to hold that and gravity is gonna do the rest of the work. So, come down. If you have a kid that tries to heel drive by doing this kind of like donkey kick thing, um, where they, like the baby donkey kicks, you know what I'm talking about with the bent knees, then you can use a barrel. You girls know the barrel drill, right? Go get me the red barrel. You can use a barrel and have them practice a straight leg heel drive with a straight body. Cora, you're going to be my example since you're so good at this. Bring it over, ladies. Me that and a wall. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, oh, please be careful. <laughs> Put the wall right there.
All right, put it long ways. All right, Cora, hop up on this wall here. The reason I'm using Cora is because she just has wonderful body tension. I'm sure you've seen her in my level two videos, but she's one of our level two. She's just doing a makeup tonight. Hop up here, Miss Cora Bora. Okay, scooch back a little bit. Put your arms up, reach maximum extension, and you know this drill. Go ahead. Heel drive straight, body tight. Good, so same thing. I come over here, check the legs. Crush me, crush me, crush me. And you see she's already doing it. She's got that maximum extension push, but I would prefer that her hands be on the mat. Excellent, she's like turning blue. She's squeezing so hard, very good. All right, Harper, can you be tighter than Cora? You can? I don't know about it, let's see. Oh, we're already, did you see what just happened there? That was the dive into the swimming pool. Are you going into a swimming pool? Or are you vaulting? So we want them to come in at that angled handstand. The same thing happened with Harper. If you watched when I was doing her angled handstand, she put the head in and she closed the armpits. So she probably needs to spend a little bit more time working on that angled handstand with maximum extension and looking through your eyelashes at your hands. Pull your hands up, get into a handstand shape. Stand in a handstand shape. She's real ribby. Stand in a handstand shape. Okay, now go. Open, open. <laughs> yes, exactly that. Exactly that is what you do not want to see going into your vault. That was a really good try though. I appreciate the effort. Scooch off my mat. <laughs> no, you stay here, because I like you. All right, go ahead, Micah, reach, drive. Good try, tight, tight. Okay, what's happening here? We want to keep this open, because this is the block shape for the front handspring. So tight legs together, ribs in, ribs in, yeah, there you go, and push maximum extension. Look at that, that's so super good. All right, now I just want um, to show them one more thing. If you're doing the level three vault and you feel like your kids are gonna die, then bring them back down a step to the level two vault, which is a handstand flat back. However, you're gonna make one change to it. Girls, I'm gonna need your help with this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this mat back to level two vault setting, which is a handstand flat back, so turn it. You can do it. Put the white line over here. Cora's already got it. And then push it this way. Okay, get me the pit pillow, put it up here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a mat behind the white line Because what you want them to do is come in at an angle, block before vertical, and land on top of a surface. So you're gonna lift the second half of the, thank you, of the mat. You can put a pit pillow, a fluffy mat, anything. But this is kind of a game that you can play with them, is they're gonna handstand, block, flat back onto a surface. If they pass level one, you add another mat add another mat, add another mat, until they're really getting in and getting up and off really quick to land on that. You girls, handstand flat back. Go Harper. Fast, fast, fast. So see that Harper struggles with that angled handstand, struggled with it over here, and then just did the same thing right here. That super round shape. So yes, be open, but how do you be open? Sweep the arms back to front, Keep the chest up and then drive and open the armpits. Cora, you can head down there. You can try this, it'll be fun. Go ahead, Micah. Arms down on the springboard. Great angles. She has awesome, awesome angles. I would like for her hips to be open a little more and her arms to be down on the springboard. Try it again, Harper. Arms down. Same thing, still diving. I didn't dive. Diving in. Open. Yeah. I was like this. Were you? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right, hop off. It's time for Cora to vault on top of you. Okay. She can go now. Harper. Now she can go. Harper, please climb off the mat. Thank you. Go ahead, Cora. You can do it. Tight, 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 tight. Nice. So that was pretty good. Um, I probably would have had the mat higher up, and no. that would help all of them. Oh gosh, don't <laughs> land on her. Harpy almost got landed on. Can you girls say bye? Bye. Say bye. bye. Say good luck with your level three vaults. Good luck with your level five vaults. Five.